Hi guys, welcome uh, to a new game. Thoroughbred Racing from ASG. And before we start, can I just say that ASG have got an absolutely fantastic customer service. Um, I won't go into the details, but they got this game to me extremely quickly. And um, it's a very easy game to, to learn. What you see here are the parts that you get. You get the rule book, the racing, the, the courses are underneath, I'll show you those in a second and the horses and the jockey ratings these are the six horses that are going to be in the race that I'm going to show you later on um, it's $25 now it's not a bad game $25 is an awful lot for what you actually get but once you get over that it's um, and it's not exactly a, a huge amount of money, it's just a lot, I think, for what you get. So the rule book, um, double-sided printed, shows you the layout of the horses, the jockeys and their ratings, and how to play the game. And effectively, what you supply, two dice, it doesn't matter what colour, they can be the same, because you had your milk. And a, it says a pencil, but I'm using a pen. Um, for reasons that will come clear later on um, and effectively you roll it you look as you can see from this here one two three four int str which is one two three four first four turns and then any turns left is the intermediate value and that is down the stretch which is in the last 20 boxes you'll understand it when i show you the course but effectively for the first roll you use the number dependent on the track and you roll the dice and you get a six so it's Seattle Slew is six and then six would give you 19 which is 25 and then you look at this chart and 25 gives you 12 forward moves and three sideways moves or after the second turn two sideways moves you don't actually need this table because there is a formula to it you take the total of the 6 and the 19, 25, divide by 2, which leaves you 12 without the remainder. So, as you can see, 25 is 12. And then if there isn't a remainder, it's one sideways move. If there is a remainder, it's two sideways moves. And then if you're in the first two moves, you add one. So it's a remainder, so there's two sideways moves. And you're inside the first two moves, so it's three. So as you can see, 12 and 3 or 12 and 2 after the first two moves. Now, if it's a short race of around 5, 6 furlongs, you won't get past these first four. Intermediate won't come into effect before the stretch. I'm going to show you a, a mile race. So we should probably use all of these ratings. And effectively, that is all you need to know about the horse. Um, it then shows you how you make the moves. So the rules that you have here are that you cannot move in front of one horse. So this horse, number three, cannot come up to four, come out, go in and then go in again. Because it would be moving directly in front of four. And it doesn't allow you to do that and you can't move diagonals. At the finish, it's just like at the saddle racing and, and if I could get a copy of Atlas Saddle Racing for a decent price I would get it because it really looks fantastic. I've watched a few videos from Tabletop Earl and I would love to own it but it's just too damned expensive. It's about, well the cheapest one I found is just under 200, 200 pounds and then I'm going to get it over here. But the finish is exactly the same. Everybody gets the right, correct number of turns and then whoever's in, furthest in front they win. The tiebreakers are not like Atma. And this is where it comes down. Is if two or more horses go to the same distance, the horse with the most unused sideways moves in the last turn. You don't carry things over in this game like you do in Atma. There is no parts of a move. You can't have 5.6 moves. Um, but you can have fi 5 moves and 2 sideways moves. So if you've not got any left, then it's better than if you have got some left. That's the first tiebreaker. If there's still a tie, then the horse with the highest 
SDR number is placed ahead. The final break, tiebreaker is the first SDR number. If these are the same, then the result is a dead heat. So, if you're looking at this, you would take this SDR number, and then this SDR number, and that would decide who you want. Jockey effects, you have a jockey, and these give, jockeys give you additional um, sideways moves. So if it's rated three, you can have three additional sideways moves. Um, the other rule that I'll tell you about, I'll show you the course and tell you about it. The rest of it really is about how to do the timings and setting up a card and then betting. So let's just move the rule book aside. Once you've done two or three games, you don't need the rule book. This is the course, or one of the courses. You get 15 courses, and this is one of the things that is a bit disappointing about it. As you can see, this is a, a piece of paper. Look at look at the printing on it. It comes as a PDF, and you know a little bit of care would have been nice, but. It doesn't stop you enjoying the, the race. Now, as you can see in the corners, we've got these squares. And to get through these squares, it takes you two forward moves. If you land on one and you've only got one left, then it doesn't penalise you. You don't then need another one. But to get through, you need two. Also, to move sideways, inside or outside, it takes two. So if you've got um, if you've got eight and two, you can move one square sideways for the two sideways moves. You can also buy two sideways moves by using one forward move. So if you've got ten and two, then you could, if you needed to have another sideways moves, you can buy another two, and you'd end up with nine and four just a little addition into making that corner if you're going outside a bit more difficult for you um, as you can see it gives you the date the race the distance and the description the track conditions there is a, a role for the track conditions i'm not going to do it for this game but it effectively only affects the timing and then here is a box to put your horses and this is the timing chart for this course and you get 15 courses which is Pretty good, really. Arlington Park Turf, etc., etc., all, all the big courses. So you have 15 to choose from. Now, there are no playing pieces with this. So what you have to do, I'll show you a race that I did before. This was the first race that I did at Aqueduct. And so you put the numbers down, and then as you move them along, you write the numbers in, and blah, 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 blah and it looks a mess. And if you get to the stage where your lead horse is actually his last move was in front of your trail horse, then it gets a little bit messy to follow. So what I started doing with the second race, as you can see, it started getting to that stage with uh, the number three horse. So I started using two different coloured inks to make it easier to read. And effectively that is the game now here's another thing that's a bit uh, difficult about this is the jockey card and as you can see you've got to have damn good eyesight to be able to read these numbers i mean i'm i'm 60 years old and my eyes are not that brilliant you know you have to have some good eyes to look through my glasses they're that they're that uh, strong so reading something that small is extremely difficult um, a horse card here, Seattle Slew, let's have a look at Seattle Slew, that gives you a little clue. So, you have your one to four for dirt, turf and mud. And these are the adjusters and then this is the roll. And then at the bottom you got his record for that year it was a four year old Colt in 1978. The money he won and the two jockeys. The first one is the one that you usually use, the second one is the one 
that you use if the first one's not available. But that is effectively the card. Now, you'll see here that on the dirt there's an asterisk, and on the numbers here, the summer, they've got an asterisk. So if I'm on the fourth turn and I roll an 11, I've got two matching asterisks. And that is a special event, and that's in the rule book there. Um, but this race, I'm going to do. I'm going to ignore special events just to take you through the race. Um, as I say, it's, it's not a bad game. Just could be better. Um, let's just move the thing over there a bit, because then I can get my little dice tower in. So this is the race I'm going to be running. Just to show you how this works. It's at Churchill Downs. It is the colt race. That's all it is. They're all colts that are running in this race. And we have They're not the horses, believe it or not. There's eight races, eight horses in here. I want Equipoise. Who is number one? Native dancer. Should have tested. Should have checked this before. So I put voice at the age four rather than at the age two. Do I have native dancer anywhere? Native dancer is number two. Oh, I've got. I've even got the wrong sheet. This is. That's why. Right, so rewind. Let's get rid of all this nonsense. Six horse race. I did have the right horses. We're at Arlington Park for the YouTube demo stakes three years and above. So, horse one is Omaha. Horse two is Ruffian. Horse three is Secretariat. Horse four is Round Table. Horse 5 is Exterminator and horse 6 is Seattle Slew. See if I can get these horses in. Is that better? Can we see them? Let's just move the camera over a bit. You'll have to trust me on the dice rolls. I'm sure you will. Let's move that down. You can put that across like that. Then you won't have to trust me because you'll be able to see them. Right, so. Mile race here, all the way around to here. And we're going to start off with blue. And ignoring these colours here, of course, because they're on the corner and we're going on a straight. So we start off round one, which is Omaha is two on the dirt track. And a five is 18. 18, two is 20. So that is 10. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And you put a one in there, and this is the thing that is a bit poor about the game is you get no movement, you no pieces, so you have to write on the track, and therefore, if you want to run the same track, you've got to print it off again. But hey ho, I'm sure I can create some little numbers, but they would be little because of the size of the um, size of the squares, and then I could laminate the the actual course itself or I could buy two thin thin nibbed markers and write on them there. Ruffian he is a six and an eleven is fifteen so six and eleven is twenty one so that's ten and two moves two four six eight ten so he's the same place and it makes it a bit difficult because of these black squares to start off with but again secretariat he's a two and a seven seventeen and two is nineteen which is eight and one so he's gonna come here and then move in and use one of his three round table he's a three seven gives him nineteen which is twenty two which gives him eleven so he's going to come across and he's going to move in 
right to the inside lane. Exterminator is a 1 on the dirt, which is first move, and a 6 is 17, which is 18, which is 9. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then he's going to move 2 in. So that is 5. And then finally, Seattle Slew was 5, and a 6 is 19, is 24. So that is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. And he can move 2 in because he's got 2 moves. So that is 6. So that will put Seattle Slew in front. So I'll change the colour of my pencil to pen to red. And Seattle Slew is in the lead. So he will go first. Second round is a 5. And 12 is 14, which is 19. Which is... 9 and 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and moving 3 and pushing right inside in the middle, in the side lane, so that's a 6. Then we have 4 round table, he is a 3 on the second round, and 2 is 19, so that is 22, which is 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Step out 1, 10, 11. He can't move back in because he'd be moving directly in front of a horse. Excuse me. <coughs> and he can't do that. And then we have 2, who is Ruffian, who is a 5. And a 10 is 18, which is 23. 1, 2, which is 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So he'll move right. Sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That should be 4 there, and that should be 1. 4 should have gone first. Now we've got 2, which is Ruffian. I missed 4 totally there. Two Ruffian, who is a five, and a six, 17, 22, which is eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So he moves to there. It's this dark color, you can't see it. You just can't see the numbers that I've written. And then we have three Secretariat, who is a four. And a 6 is a 19, which is 23, which is 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So he's going to just tuck in behind round table and secretariat. And then finally we have horse 5 exterminator. So a 2. And a 5 is a 19, which is 21. So that's 10 and 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and he's going to move into the inside lane. So now you can see a lot better, <laughs> and we won't have this confusion that we had here when I missed number 4 out totally. So, we now drop the extra 1 on the sideways movements because we're into move 3. <coughs> and we go back to the blue pen. So we have number 4 is in the front, round table. And at 3 he gets a 4, and then 6 is 18, which is 22, which is 11, 11 and 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 1. So we'll move on to the inside lane. And Omaha, who is a 4, 4 and 8 is 16, so that's 20, so that's 10 and 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10 moves inside so he's there I think it was a bit generous to uh, round table there to give him an extra one so we'll take that one off him 6 is Seattle Slew who is a 4 on the third turn 7 is 18 18 of course 22 so that's 11 and 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9, 10, 11, so Seattle Slew on the inside, and 2, 
Ruffian. 11, which is 15, and his third move is a 5, so that's 20, so that moves in 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And he's going to take the move outside as well. 3, Secretariat, there is a 5 on the third move. Secretary obviously is a slow start to put two, four, and then five. So five and then a six is 19, which is 24, which gives him 12 and one move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Unfortunately, he can't get outside because he needed two moves. So I'll only get 11. And finally, five, exterminator, who is a four. So 4 and 11 gives him 17, this 21 gives him 2 outside moves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Beginning to fall back a bit as we go into our fourth move. And this is the last of the um, individual sets of moves. The rest of them will move to intermediate until we get to the 20th square from the end, which is... This line here, put that arrow there, and that is where the stretch numbers come into play. So, four round table, he's got a four, four, and the five is 17, 21, so that gives him 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Moves into there, followed by six, Seattle Slew, who is a four. And the 2 is 19, which is 23. So that is 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Out one, 11. So we'll move up alongside round table. 1 is Omaha. And he's a 4 plus 9, which is 17, 21. So that gives him 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And he'll move inside to the inside lane. And 3, Secretariat, who is a 5. So it's a 5 and a 7, which is 17, which is 22, which is 11. 11 and 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So he'll move right up. To the back of Seattle Slough. Two, Ruffian, who is a four. Four and five, 19, 23, which is 11 and two sideways. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So it's going to stay there in the third lane. And as you can see, let's, let's do number five first, who is Exterminator, who is a four. 4 and a 5, 5 is 19 and 4, 23. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So he'll stay on the inside lane. Now, this is where being outside is going to be a bit difficult because you're going to start hitting these shaded squares. So they have to really get inside. Remembering now that as we go around this corner, you need two sideways moves to move sideways. One square. So obviously, you've got to be careful around here. But we'll see what happens as we move to the blue pen. And it is number four, round table. And we're in the intermediate. This number will be used until one of the horses, the turn, where one of the horses passes this line, will move into the stretch. So four and five. Five is 17 and four is 21. So he gets 10 and two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So round table is there. Six, Seattle Slew. He is a three on the intermediate, and a five is 1922, which gives him 11 and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I can go 9, 10, 11. 
or you can go you can give one away to get two more because he's only got one so he'd end up with 10 move to there 9 10 so he'd be then move the extra one back so it gets to the same place so he's going to go to there number one omaha is four four and seven nineteen is twenty three so that is eleven and two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten He's going to stay with 10, he's going to lose one, he can't get anywhere with it. He could have gone out into the third lane, but it wouldn't have made a lot of difference if he'd been further back. Three, Secretariat, he's a four, and a nine is 18, which is 22, which is 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So he will go into there. So Secretariat again is a three, as you can see, you can't. The shading is too dark on this course. Some of the courses, it's not so bad. That one there, you can write on it, but this one, for whatever reason, it's it's dark and they haven't bothered to lighten the shade. I don't know whether it was one that was first done and it just used a a dark pencil to cover it in. But we'll carry on. Two ruffian who has got a three and a five is nineteen twenty-two is eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now he's only got one, so he'd have to give one away. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So he's going to stay there. So he's continuing around the outside. And then five, exterminator, who is a five on the intermediate. So he gets better as the race goes on. And a seven, he needs to get better, like. Uh, seven is. 16 and 5 is 21 that gives him 10 and 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 puts him there so we stay with the intermediate because we're still in the intermediate section and it's round table so it's a 4 plus a, a 9 which is 16 which is 20 10 1 2 3 4 5 7 8 9 10 puts him there so after this round of moves, we will move to the first stretch value. Number six, Seattle Slew. He is a three. And a ten is eighteen, so that's twenty-one. That gives him ten and two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So neck and neck between those two. One. Omaha. He is a four. And a 9 is 17, which is 21, which again is 10 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And he's going to come out because we've used, we're out of the corner. So he's going to come out and use this 2. Now we have 3 using this little dark square here. Secretariat. He is using 4 for his intermediate and 6. 19 is 23, which is 11 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 10, 11. So he stepped out and moved out. He, he couldn't, if he'd gone there, he would have been stuck, so he's pulled out. And then 2, Ruffian, who is a 3, and a 12, which is 16, 19, which is 9 and Two, one, two. He needs to move in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Puts him there. And then finally, exterminator, who is a five, and a four is nineteen, which is twenty-four. That's twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So he's pulled right up behind the leading pack. So we're now in the stretch, so we use the first stretch number. If we have to continue with another go to get somebody across the line, we use the second stretch, and I suspect we're going to use both of them. And then you continue to use the stretch, second stretch all the time. So we have number four, who is round table. He is a five, and then 19 is 25, four, so that's 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
put him there. Seattle Slew is a four and a twelve, which is oh, which is fourteen, which is eighteen. That's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And he's going to move inside onto the inside lane. He's dropped way back there. Three Secretariat. He's a four. Four and a seven gives us 17, which is 21. That's 10 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Moving in 2. Puts him there. 5. Exterminate to come right up. He is a 5 and a 7. 16, 21. Which is 10 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 10. And it puts him there. Number 1, Omaha. He is a 5. And then 11 is 14. Which is 19. Which is 9 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And he's going to move just 1 in there and finally ruffian who is a three he's telling off here and a three which is 19 which is 22 gives him 11 one three four five six seven eight nine step out and one because he's an even number so he's going to be there So, this should be the last one. So, we use the second stretch. Here we go for round table. He's a five, strong finisher. And a nine is 16, is 21. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And he moves one out. So, he's finished and he has no. Sideways moves left. Now, what I could have done, of course, in this corner, I could have used some of these jockey ones. I, I haven't used them. Um, really, I should have done because some of them could have stepped outside. But hey ho, what can you do? Number three, Secretariat is a four, and a five is 19, which is 23, which is 11 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Moving out using all these sideways movements. It's a bit like Atmer in the at the end of this where you have to make sideways movements to use all your decimal places that you've got left. Because they become significant. So we now have 6. Seattle Slew, 4, and 5, 5 is 19, 23, so that is 11 and 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 2, so that's 6, and one thing I don't allow <coughs> in this game, and it's a rule that I've decided on, I don't know if it's in the rule book, is that you can't go one, two, three, four. Not having that, you can only move one way when you're moving out at the end of it. You can while you're running around, but at the end of it, you can only move one way. Five is Exterminator, who is a six on his last, on his second stroke. So six and seven, seven is 16, that's 22, 11 and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, in one, 11. Makes him there. One. Omaha is a six. Another strong finisher. And 19 is 25. That's 12 and 2. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, twelve. So he'll finish there. If he's gone inside, he'd have left himself with one. He's got none left. He's got none left, he's got none left, so the one that's left is number two, who is Ruffian. And he's got three plus 11, 15, 18, he's going to be a long way. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. So doesn't matter that he's got one left because he ain't gonna make a difference here. So the winner is round table. Second is number three, Secretariat. Now we've got a three way for third. We've got number five, Exterminator. And he's a six. They're, they've all got zero on the sideways movement. So Exterminator is a six. Seattle Slough is a four. And Omaha is a six. So we take those two, six and a five. And the first one is a five, and the second one is a five. Now you can take the jockey into account here, I suppose, and say Omaha's jockey is a rated one, and Exterminator's jockey is rated two, so Exterminator comes third, Omaha comes fourth. There's, there's a rule on the fly there. I just looked at that and thought, well, the better jockey would get him there. So there's a little rule on the fly. Feel free to use it if you buy this game. And fifth is Seattle Sloot. And sixth is Ruffian. So that's it. I mean, that's, that's all there really is to the game. Um, I quite like the game. I would love to get, as I've said before, at the saddle racing and if anybody out there knows somebody who's got at the saddle racing and they don't play it anymore and they want to sell it and get rid of it as long as it's not stupid ridiculous money cost 200 pounds for a, for a board game they don't care how out of date out of publication it is i'm not paying that sort of money for a game um you know at a reasonable price price i would be interested but um, I'm sure, you know, I wouldn't blame anybody else if they can get 200 pounds for it. The ones I've seen on eBay, they haven't gone. Uh, I may just contact one some one day and say, I'll give you 50 50 dollars for it, and see if uh, see if they bite. But um, yeah, there you have it. They each one of these squares across is two fifths. So effectively, if you were working on the time here. Just to, to give you a quick idea. It's a one mile race, so one mile race takes 135 and three fifths of a second. So Ruffian would have taken 135 and three fifths. Then each one of these is, is two fifths. So that's two, four, that's one and a fifth second off that time, which is uh, 134 and two fifths for number one number six and number five and then another two fifths off that for number three which is 134 dead and then another two fifths for round table which is 133 and three fifths and that's it that's all there is to the game. As I say, it's a, it's, it's a very good game. You get a lot. You get 15 different courses. And I think there is, let's just have a quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you get 50 horses, 50 um, all time horses and jockeys. I think I found one jockey that actually wasn't on that list, so I gave him the top rating of 4. But you got equipo the, this is the other thing that you found you get 1932 equipoise and 1930 equipoise. So there's not really 50 horses, there's less than 50 horses, and some are doubled up because they're different years. You've got Bewitched, Swaps, Damascus, Top Flight, Man of War, Twilight Tear, or Twilight Tear, whichever one it is, 
Gallant Fox, Dr. Far Farger, Kelso, Count Fleet, Foot Passer, Assault, Ruffian, One Admiral, Admiral, Sunbow, Swaps again, Affirmed, Kelso, Whirl Away, Affirmed again, Nassau, Tom Fool, Tom Fool again, Galaret, Sea Biscuit, Forgo, Whirl Away again, Sisada, Busher, Forgo again, Secretariat, Citation, Man of War again, Nassau again, Count Fleet again, Native Dancer, Citation, Top Fleet, Sarazen, Armed, Seattle Slough, Round Table, Secretariat, Exterminator, Omaha, Seattle Slough again, Ruffian, Native Dancer again. And what I may well do is go through these, I think I've number four now, and on the back of them, I can put the positions that they finished, and therefore I've got a record of how they've gone in in my races. Um, as I said, 15, 15 courses. I, I did one big 10 horse race. Earlier, and I used green to start with because I did it for a mile, and so it starts and ends here. So we needed a colour to start with, so I used green. And and really, this is the there's there's a good point to it. You can see where the horse went. You can start. They went number one went there, and they went there, and they went there, and as you can see. Most of it, he had to come on the outside here. Stayed on the outside here. And then ended here. And then ended here. Whereas 10 went from outside here, obviously. To there. To there. Well, did a lot of it on the outside. Came down to the inside and stayed on the inside. Don't know how that happened because you're not allowed to have doubles. Can't take the place, but that's a mistake. I was getting used to the game. They went to there, they went to there, and he finished so far back. But as you see, I didn't even bother doing the times. It's the same principle: point two, uh, two fifths, four fifths, one and a fifth, one and three fifths, two seconds, two point two and two fifths seconds back, two point four seconds if you want to use decimals. So you would then look at the one mile race. 137 it took him 137 and two fifths so it would take him 139 and four fifths um yeah good game i i enjoy playing it um i'd enjoy at the saddle racing more i think it's um it's fair to say the tracks again look you see belmont park that's a good one because the, the shading's light and it's nicely placed that one is just difficult for the race that we've just done because of this. Um, Arlington Park Turf, Belmont Park, Belmont Park, the other one was Turf. But you see, you've got these are dark. Obviously, these were the first courses that was done. Turf, but see there. <coughs> you got one dark shade and one not so dark shade. I'm assuming this was for an original and they just haven't updated it. Hollywood Park and Hollywood Park too. It just makes it difficult. Sant Anita Tour. That looks like an interesting race. I might do that one day. Put ten horses on that, that'd be that'd be fun. Anybody want to wants to see a race with ten horses on this course? Leave a comment below, and if if I get enough, I'll I'll do it. Santa Anita, Saratoga, Woodbine, and then we get Aqueduct, which was the first race that I did. Churchill Downs, there should be another one somewhere. Ah, there is Pimlico. I did a race at Pimlico. That was the ten horse race that I showed you earlier. And then the one that we've just done. So I've had a total of four races, and I already know the game. That's how easy it is to pick up. So um, 
I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did, thumbs down if you didn't. Um, I think it's well worth the money. Uh, just, you know, just things about it, you know. Just wish they had some form of tokens that that you could move around and, and they, you know, yeah, I couldn't make them myself, but just a little bit small. Um, and my only other gripe, as you've already heard, is is these dark squares on the track here, and the fact that some of them are a little bit skewed. But yeah, what do you want for twenty five bucks? I would recommend it if you want a horse racing game and you don't want to spend two hundred quid on a on saddle racing. But like I said, anybody out there that knows anyone who wants to who's got it and wants to sell it. I'm interested, but uh, not that stupid money. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it, and um, I'll talk to you again. Leave a comment if you want me to do that that race, that ten horse race around that uh, that amazing track, whichever one it was, and we'll I'll pick ten at random and we'll do it. Okay, thanks very much, and uh, we'll be seeing you soon.